Hey there, it's Simon Hurley from Inklips, and I'm here with scrapbook.com to talk about stamp and die sets and how they go together or can be used separately. So there are some stamp sets that come with die sets. You can buy them together or separately. For this waffle flower set here, this one came together as kind of a bundle and you get this fun stamp storage pocket with it too. So you have this nice flap here and this actually has two different sections in it. The first section holds the stamp set in front here and the second pocket holds all of the dies. You actually have to clip these dies apart with a pliers or you can kind of bend them apart and then they'll all come apart and you have all those little dies to cut out every little image in this stamp set, which is really nice. And then you don't have to fussy cut it either. Then there are some stamp sets that you probably want to get the die set along with it. Like this one, which has like a word die in here and the stamp set really depends on that die to make it really come to life. And I'll show that in just a second here. So let's talk a little bit about the die cutting machines. This is the Gemini Junior and it's a motorized machine. So it's still got the plates for like a manual machine does and you run it through with your wafer thin dies, but this runs itself, which is really nice. So if you have problems running the um, manual machines, these electric machines will really help you with that and kind of guide you along as you're crafting. Now there are other machines as well that you can run through yourself. These have little handles so you crank them through when you're die cutting. So that can be really nice too, and you have some smaller options as well. So I'm gonna start off by showing you this waffle flower stamp and die set. So I'll pull out the stamps here. I'm gonna stamp down this larger cage and some of the little critters. So I'll just pull out this larger stamp. Now you can see the inside of this stamp is cut out, and that's just that no ink will transfer to the inside, and also you get some extra images inside there too, which is really nice. So I'll just put this larger cage down and I'll put down one of the hamsters too so we can cut out one of those. Now I'll leave a little bit of room in between both of them just to make sure that I can set my dies in there and have a little bit of room to cut them out. So I'm going to mount this onto my acrylic block and then I'll take a smaller block and mount that little hamster onto it. Then I'm going to take my scrapbook.com black hybrid ink and I'm just going to ink up this stamp like I usually would. So I'll just add ink all over the stamp and stamp it right down onto the cardstock. Now I'll do the same thing with the little hamster too. And then again, leaving a little bit of space in between so there's enough room for the dies to fit there. Now once that's all finished, we can grab out the dies. Now like I said, these all come connected. I've already clipped these apart. So you've got all the little tiny bits to cut out all of your images in here. So you can just kind of wiggle them apart and they come and they separate. Um, you also want some little clippers to kind of cut all these pieces out. So then I'm going to flip over the die and I can grab some purple tape here. This is really awesome for die cutting. I'll rip off some little pieces here and then you wanna get right over top of that die and kind of evenly align with a little bit of a white border around the whole thing. Spending a little bit of time to do this will help you to ensure that everything is nice and lined up before you run it through your die cutting machine. And then I'll do the same thing. I'm gonna find this little image or this little die that coordinates with the image. And then I'm going to take a little bit of tape and I'm going to, again, just line this up right over top of that image. So a die set usually comes like this and to separate these pieces apart, all you need to do is either kind of bend the pieces apart and that will kind of help separate them like that. Now with these inside pieces, you're not gonna be able to bend them since they're kind of inside that die there. So what you wanna do is grab a wire cutter and just kind of snip right in between all those pieces. You can also go up close to these metal edges to make sure you don't get cut on them. So just bending apart these pieces and cutting out the insides are gonna help separate all these little pieces so you can use them for cutting out the images. So now I'm gonna create my die cutting sandwich. And to do this, I have my bottom plate here and I have the plastic shim and then a metal shim. This will help uh, kind of get that detailed cut in there. Then I have the magnetic piece. And here I'm gonna take this and I'm going to flip this over top so that the cutting side is facing upwards. And then I'm going to put my other top plate down. And this is a sandwich you're gonna use for the Gemini. So I'll run this right through in the machine and this is just gonna grab on itself. And you don't have to press any buttons, it just runs right through. So it really easily cuts out your images here and really effortlessly too. So it cuts straight through and then I just have to 
peel off the taped off areas carefully. And there you have your nicely cut out image. And you get that really nice white border around the image too. So it perfectly cuts these out. And you don't have to worry about fussy cutting these. So you can see that fun little white border around that little image. And it's really easy to get that nice cut look. And you can buy these die sets separately or together as a combo with most stamp sets to cut out the images that are in the set. So here is the finished card that I created. I cut out all these little images using that die set. And then I colored all of them in, and you can see that fun, nice little white border around here. So I didn't mask this scene off. I actually just cut out every single image, colored them, and then put them on top of each other and layered them all together. So you can create a really quick scene because all these can cut right through your machine. So now I'm going to use this Concord and Ninth Shine On stamp and die set to create a really unique effect using both of these together because they really kind of depend on each other. So I'm going to start off with using the dies. You have this larger die that cuts out the large shine with a little bit of a shadow. And then you have the actual shine die cut. And I'm going to place these dies facing upwards. So the metal side going up. And then I'm going to place them both down. And I'll kind of stick with that magnet there. And then I'll place my pieces of cardstock right over top of it. So I'm using blue over top of that shadow image and then white right over top of the actual shine word. And then grab your Gemini Junior machine and we can run it right through. So you can see just how easily that runs through the machine, and it really cuts those out super nicely. So the die cuts just basically fall out because they've cut so perfectly out here, and you can see that nice detail that it created with that little shine there. So then I'm going to use this kind of shadow piece in the stamp set, and it doesn't look like much here. I'm going to take that piece out. And I'm going to use this to stamp on top of my die cut. So I'll apply it onto the acrylic block here. And then I'm going to grab some of the Cyan One ink from scrapbook.com and ink up my stamp. And then I'll take the piece that I cut out and I'm going to go right over top of the image and line this up with the bottom edge of my die cut. And we can stamp it right down. So then I'm going to grab the Nubo glue pen and we're going to adhere down the die cut to my shadow piece here. So I'm just taking this glue pen. I'm just going to dab it right onto the surface here. So I'll just take that die cut piece and I'm going to place it right over top. You can kind of see in that shadow stamped area that we created where the die cut will kind of fit in place. And you can't forget about the little dot for the eye. So I'll just take that and add a little bit of that glue pen to it. And then I can add that right to the die cut there. So you can see that fun effect you get with that really awesome shadow stamp. And that die set really depends on this to create that awesome look with the shadow right behind that fun word die. So then I'm going to finish off my card by kind of finishing the rest of the scene. So I'm grabbing out the pieces of the light bulb here. And to do this, I'm just going to set these stamps down onto my surface and place that one piece of the light bulb right inside of the other. And then I'm going to grab my black ink and I can stamp this right down onto the surface. And I'm just using some yellow cardstock to create that light bulb there. And I'll also grab the little top of the light bulb and I'm going to apply that to an acrylic block. And I'll use the charcoal gray three ink from scrapbook.com. And I'm going to just stamp that down onto a piece of a white colored cardstock. So I've pulled the dies out that coordinate um, from the set with both of these images. And again, I'll grab some purple tape. And I love that you can rip this stuff into smaller pieces. So it makes it really easy to line it up right over top of the image. Make sure there's an even border around the whole thing. So I'll do that with both of these to make sure they don't shift when I run it through my die cutting machine. Then I'm going to take both of these pieces and place them cutting side up onto my magnetic sheet and place the top plate over top of it. And then I'll bring in my Gemini Junior tie cutting machine and I'm just going to run it right through. And again, it'll take it right through the machine. So once that's all cut out, you get those images, and again, they have that really nice border 
to cut out those coordinating images. So you could cut these out by hand, but the machine makes it super easy with those die sets to cut these out. So now I'm gonna complete it off with some of the images from the stamp set. So I'll grab out some of the sentiment pieces that I wanna use. So the sentiments in here also have that fun shadow effect. So I'm gonna grab the you were born to and bright with those two shadows so we can stamp it down. And I'll also add that little light string there too. So I'm just gonna take the little string for the light bulb and I'll take it with that same gray three that we used for the top of the light bulb. And I'll ink that up. And I'm just going to stamp that down onto the card and kind of hanging over the edge of the card. Then once I'm done with that, I'm going to take these pieces and I can add them right down onto the card. And I'm just going to use some of that scrapbook.com tape runner to add a little bit of adhesive behind it. And we can adhere that piece down onto the card. And then I'll take the top of the light bulb, add a little bit of adhesive, and kind of overlap that with the top of the light bulb and adhere it right down onto the card. Then I'm gonna take that shine piece and do the same thing. I'll add a little bit of adhesive down and then I can kind of overlap it with that light bulb and add it right down onto my card. Now to stamp the sentiment down quicker, I'm gonna use the Tim Holtz travel stamp platform. So I'm going to magnet this piece down into here to hold it nicely. And then we can stamp down my sentiment. So I'm going to grab the bright piece and make sure that it's aligned straight. And then I'm gonna grab the you were born to and put that right at the top there. So this just ensures that we can line it up with the grid lines to make sure that it's straight and we can stamp both of these sentiments at once. So I'm gonna grab that darker gray three color. I'm just going to ink up both of those stamps and we can stamp that right down onto the surface of our card. And then once we've done that, I'm going to pull off the stamp and we can stamp the little shadow for bright. So I'm just going to place the little shadow right against the letters. And this is gonna give us a similar effect to the die cut that we have above. So it'll give kind of that shadow and create that little bit of a 3D effect there. So I'm gonna go in with gray two here, which is a little bit lighter for that shadow. I'm just going to stamp that right down onto the card. And if you want to, you can stamp it twice. It'll make it a little bit more intense. And once that's all complete, here we have our finished card. I really love how that turned out with that fun shine with the 3D look. And some of these stamps have that really cool 3D look and that cut out little light bulb there too. So this created a really cool and unique card with both the stamp and the die set together. So thank you guys for joining me on today's lesson about stamp and die sets. I love how they can coordinate together to create some really unique effects on your cards and how you can use them together to cut out some images and make it really easy to create a scene. So I hope you guys use these fun techniques with the stamp and die combos and create some really awesome cards of your own. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video and want to see more from scrapbook.com, please like, share, subscribe, and leave a message. Happy crafting!